Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation day number nine. I'm reviewing 12 foundations throughout the month of December and today it's an iconic one but it's been repackaged, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I actually never tried the original or if I did it's so long ago that I don't remember so that's what I'm reviewing today but if you missed the first eight reviews I'll have them linked down below. There's a giveaway in every single one and not that many people are entering, I won't lie. So I encourage you to do so because the chances are higher than ever. It's similar to when I worked in radio, nobody called, okay? Anyways, if you'd like timestamps, because as you can see, I like to chat, they will be linked down below if you would like to see before and after, the application, flash photo test, or just how it looks at the end of the day, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned, this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. It says it perfectly matches skin color and texture. It also says it contains hyaluronic acid and claims to improve your skin in just two weeks. So, I mean, I don't necessarily look for that in, in my makeup, but I don't mind the addition of skin skincare ingredients in foundation because it is going on our skin but I'm not using this expecting it to be like a moisturizer but it's nice that they keep skin in mind if that makes sense uh, you get the full 30 milliliters in here so full size foundation and the original was as well so that's you know on packaging to be how deceiving it can look at times it looked very small like there was very little in it but it really was the full size I don't know how this compares to the original like I said but what I do notice in this and and if you have tried this you can speak to it in the, in the comments if you'd like but there is definitely an iridescent kind of gold vibe in there so that's pretty as long as it doesn't look like too shimmery on the skin uh, it says it has 80 percent hydrating care to moisturize and beautify your skin improve skin quality in just two weeks perfectly matches blah 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 made in france uh, and depending on where you pick this up the price is going to vary greatly i bought this at shoppers last night it was just over 20 dollars okay <sighs> And in this economy, that's the price of two heads of iceberg lettuce. So do you want a salad or do you want foundation? I picked this up in the shade 8D8W, which is golden cappuccino. Uh, and I love that it has a pump. Ooh, ooh, it's really liquidy. The shade looks like it's gonna be, oh, maybe a little dark actually. It's hard to say in store. Oh, yeah, actually. It's much more, um, like the shades come in warm, neutral, and cool. And I guess I shouldn't have gone so warm, but in store it looks so neutral. If you use this foundation, let me know. Maybe I should have gone 8C. That's also on the store. That's the thing. Like this comes in 45 different shades, which is amazing, but it's up to Shoppers Drug Mart, Walmart, Ulta, whoever, to stock the shades, right? So when it comes to that, it's, it's a retailer issue, which is really uh, annoying. And then of course, depending on where you live in your city, in the country, whatever it might be, uh, it's gonna vary. So it's like, that's great that L'Oreal came out with 45 shades, but if shoppers decides they don't wanna put all of them there, they're probably gonna choose the beige ones, you know? <laughs> and that's what can be really uh, hard because it's like, it doesn't give you the option and what you have to buy it online. And it's already hard enough to match yourself. <laughs> And looking up really close on my skin, my eyes almost have like crossed to be able to see the shimmer on my skin. So it doesn't look uh, super glittery or anything like that. It looks really natural, blends out really beautifully. And although it's definitely a little bit warmer than I might have gone for, and maybe if I didn't have so much chest exposed today, but it's not a tragic match. But 8C could have been the move instead of 8W perhaps. It just, in the packaging, still truly, it looks so much more neutral, but I love the way it looks. To turn my light down a little bit and get up close so you can see. Glitter check. Looks really nice, right? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'm back with the rest of my makeup on now and everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below, but I love the way that this looks. I'm so impressed. I can kind of get and understand why this is such a cult favorite foundation. Really, really easy to use, looks beautiful on the skin and feels really, really lightweight. Um, as for photos, I thought it performed beautifully. I really like the way that it looks. Like I said, you know, it's got that great sort of natural medium sheen on the skin, um, that vibe that I'm constantly chasing and trying to find a foundation. And similar to L'Oreal Freshwear, and because, you know, L'Oreal owns Lancome, YSL, etc., it has that high-end feel. 
It has the feeling of a high end also because the price keeps creeping up there, but also the quality feels and looks really great on the skin. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far, but I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a couple of hours and I'll check back with you in some natural light. Hello, coming to you midday, beautiful sunny day for once. My foundation looks great. Uh, like I mentioned, it's not my absolute favorite shade. I probably could have done the neutral, but it's not a bad shade either. And it's so funny because I know I said this, but like in store, I thought, wow, I wish there was a shade above this because it looks like it's going to be too light. So definitely keep that in mind. Watch some YouTube reviews, look at some blog posts, etc., um, before you pick it up in store. But I do think it looks really good. My natural oils have started to come through. Uh, it feels a little bit heavier now uh, than I did when I initially applied it, but that's what kind of happens when my face gets a little bit oilier. But overall, I think it looks great. Uh, but I'll check back with you this evening. Since I've seen you last, I've been to jail and got a teardrop tattoo, so you know what that means. <laughs> Actually, no, I took a nap. I don't know what happened to my mascara here, but the foundation I think looks good. Uh, the shade match, not so much. Too warm, a little bit too deep, as I've said now three times, I would probably try the 8N. I'm trying to compare it in my mind because I haven't worn it in a while to the L'Oreal Freshwear. That is one of my favorite foundations. That's definitely a better reco if you have um, a more combo oily skin type in my opinion. This is maybe for more natural dry folks, but I think it's pretty. The you know shimmeriness that was in there didn't really um, add any like glitter look to my face. It didn't look like it highlighted any texture. Went on super smooth. I think it might have... I'm trying to tell if it oxidized at all or if it just started a little too deep in orange. But I do think it's a really pretty foundation. I definitely want to try out my other shade. I can see why people really like it, uh, especially from the drugstore. The formula is thin. It goes on really nice. It photographs well. It wears very well. Um, and I do like the look. It's just a little bit of a shade issue right now. So right now, fresh wear wins for me. Uh, I also love the fresh wear concealer, the powder foundation. Um, those are both all really, really good from L'Oreal. So this one is still really, really good, but I am on, as always, a journey to find my perfect shade. If you wear my shade and foundations, I would love to know what shade you are down below. Uh, but I think it's a it's a pretty one. Uh, let me know if you have tried, because I know it's so, so popular, but some of the ones that are really, really popular end up getting overlooked for me because, I don't know, I just... I just don't see them anymore, but I do, uh, I do enjoy this one. So let me know down below what you think. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.